right, so we're back in the workshop that has uh, unfortunately burned to a crisp. It's been two months from the fire itself, and probably the worst thing is that I have not been able to touch this. I've just been kind of stuck in this limbo of everything being destroyed and not able to actually move on and do anything. Then advised to me that not until insurance is done that I can't touch anything because that could be considered destruction of evidence. It's it's been a very frustrating and painful process. Not something I wish on anybody. Incredibly frustrated with all the insurance. Nobody answers my questions. Everything is just takes way longer than it should. The insurance company that we hoped was going to cover this then that policy to actually review it. They got assigned it and I tried calling and emailing without a response for two weeks. And it wasn't until I like looked up their number, their manager's number, I had to start calling them every hour on the hour until they finally responded. And unfortunately at this point, through a very long and painful process, insurance is denying coverage of the structure itself. The apparent gap in our coverage, not seeing much more options at this point. Thought we were covered under our existing insurance for a rented space, but apparently didn't did not extend to here. I could pursue legally trying to challenge it, but it sounds like it would be an uphill battle and likely would cost more in lawyer fees than um, I would get in the end. So we finally start the cleanup process and clear out this huge mess, see what we can recover, see what's salvageable, and figure out where we go from there. While we go through all that, our production is gonna be a little bit slowed down. Um, so I wanted to give an opportunity for any small creators who are interested in producing a video for our channel to reach out, um, shoot me an email, and uh, there will be compensation to that beyond just exposure. I'm gonna actually pay you. Seems like a good opportunity to kind of offload some of our work while we're busy with all of this and uh, we'll also have a chance to kind of highlight some smaller creators and give them an opportunity. The good news is we had separate policies for the items inside the garage. So those are all covered. And the other good news is that the GoFundMe we started has been really amazing and just how much people have been willing to donate um, to, to it. And it uh, is like the going to give us enough to at least rebuild what we have. I'm not really sure how much it's gonna to cost to rebuild. Despite everything in here being pretty much destroyed, we had a lot of our old projects kind of been archived. Got about 30 or 40 items, set up an auction page. This is kind of a rare opportunity to buy kind of a piece of how to make everything. If there's other objects that aren't up for sale but you are interested in, let me know and we'll consider doing a follow-up auction with some of those items. But otherwise, check out the auction and see, see if there's anything you want. This video is sponsored by Trade Coffee. Trade connects you to the best coffee from the nation's top roasters and delivers them right to your door. Maybe you prefer the dark, savory notes of chocolate and marshmallows or the bright pick-me-up of a light roast. You can now find out with Trade Coffee. Maybe you can't travel to the mountains of Mexico to cultivate your next cup by hand, but you can still tour the globe and taste the difference. So how does it work? Step one, take the quiz. Answer questions about how you like your coffee and Trade will curate matches just for you. Step two, deliver right to your door. Choose your delivery frequency and it'll appear at your doorstep, delivered at peak freshness. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate your matches so Trade can continue to delight you with coffees you love. Trade uses sustainable and compostable packaging to ship their coffee in because they love the earth. All coffee is roasted and shipped to you within 24 hours of ordering. Trade guarantees you'll love your first coffee. If you don't, they'll ship you out a different bag for free. Just take the quiz by clicking the link in the description to get started. Free shipping is included, also free coffee. Use the link in the description to get your first bag from Trade Coffee for free. Explore the best coffee in the country with Trade. So like Andy said, we have a bunch of things for auction. It's going to be on 32auctions.com and it is live now. All right, straight from the Mississippi Gorge into your lips, a beautiful ocarina made from dirt. Lovely. From the same episode, we have this Gemchorn, a bison horn flute, ethically sourced from the Como Zoo. <laughs> How do you play it? All right, our cameraman, Joey, made this beautiful bamboo flute. I don't know how to play this. Here we have some early papyrus paper. It is clearly an attempt, but it's good. <laughs> well, I made this, so I'm biased, but this is the best thing we've ever made. <laughs> it's a beekeeping mask made of willow branches and linen, and it actually works, and Halloween's coming up, so spooky. But if you weren't excited about just that, there's two, his and hers, beautiful. This is a bamboo bow. Bundle bow? Bamboo bundle bow. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the bamboo bundle bow. Fishing pole from the fishing pole episode. Has um, bronze eyelets and it is made from wood. Um, the reel is broken right now, but it's made of bronze and we will find it. 
Whew. I did catch a fish with this, so it does work. This is from the paint episode where Andy made his own paints. And this is an Andy original painting. He will sign it. <laughs> you ready to make a fantastic little painting? Oh, and there is some corn <laughs> stuck in it <laughs> from the corn cannon episode. Cool, <laughs> a little extra for free. <laughs> <laughs> Most things come with bonus corn. Upon further investigation, this is actually a bug. <laughs> and then there's other little, it looks like fruit flies. Um, so this is a living landscape. I like this painting. I think this is good. These are skis. Skis made from box elder. Winter is coming, so strap up. They have been tested. <laughs> this is very heavy. PUBG armor from the PUBG armor episode. We got bronze, steel, obsidian, clay. A lot of stuff going on here. Leather. Leather. Will it stop a bullet? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down because it's very heavy. Straight from the summer of 2019 into your home. This is the flamethrower guitar. Flamethrower has been disabled for your safety. From the beer episode, this is a fermentation vessel that we use to make the beer, and it could be a nice milk jug. This was the live stream DIY toilet paper. Great for a guest bathroom if you hate your guests. It's not been used, so sorry. <laughs> this was our first attempt at the distilling vessel for our moonshine episode. So this is the one that worked because I made it, and this was the one that Andy made. Nice little friend. Good home decor. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the first metal tools that we made. It is a native copper axe sourced from the mine in Michigan that we went to. I wasn't there. <laughs> the proverbial we. <laughs> also made of native copper, this is an adze. Also used for chopping wood and other chopping activities. From the Caveman Bread episode, this is a cast bronze sickle made with help from Greg the sword casting guy, used for harvesting grains. Very sharp, not a toy. Hammer made of cast bronze. I have used this a lot and it works. Might be a nice set with the sickle. Tommy. <laughs> no. Uh, canceled. I was set up. <laughs> if by chance you do casting at home, this is a cast we made but never used. This is an ax adds head combo mold. Pour it in, see if it works. These are also molds. This one's a bell clapper. And this one's Dobby. A ceramic oil lamp. Just put the wick in, pull it out through here, light it, lamp. What else do you need to know? Hemp sling. Put the stuff in here, give it a little whip around, and then you let it go. Shoot your shot. <laughs> that is cool. And I'm getting my wallet out. Made of clay, a special note written in our own language. What does it say? It's a mystery, figure it out if you can. We have a ceremonial dagger from the city of Ur. It's nice, it's heavy, made of bronze. It was cast and is not very sharp right now, but sharpen it up. It's got my fingerprints on it. Frame me for murder, please don't. <laughs> I will be wiping it off. <laughs> okay, this is, this is cast bronze that we were going to make into a saw similar to this, but we never carved the teeth into it. So DIY project. This was cast with Greg in Austin, Texas. Greg, the saw casting guy. <laughs> right, this is my very first project. Um, heckle, this was made so we could heckle the flax, kind of rake it through there. Very nice artifact for my time. <laughs> deer parchment. Good for things. Uh, this is leftover deer parchment from the book episode. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have a moment in your life where you're like, what's going on? <laughs> this is a greasy pig hide as from the drum episode. There it is. <laughs> R.I.P. The very scissors that Andy made and then cut his own hair with. This is cast bronze and functional. If you're strong. <laughs> Especially made by Greg the scissor casting guy. And this Athenian sword with help from bronze casting guy. <laughs> Wait, shit. <laughs> made with help from Greg the sword casting guy. It's starting to patina due to age. Greg's debut video was making this. The practice football for the creepy football episode. Made with real cowhide. 
football. Football season is upon us. Impress your friends. Here's some bread from the bread episode. Fresh artisan. A nice two-year-old loaf. These are the only remaining artifacts of our lathe. This is the bit and this is the chisel. The last remaining tool that survived the fire for the episode of the tools that built the pyramid. This is a measuring tool. So you can make sure that everything is evenly spaced. Got the set, the adaladle, and arrows. What's this? It's another adaladle. A little simpler, but it works. A set of four, count them, four bronze chisels. Cast bronze, it's lovely and functional. The cast currency, first HTME money. It's marked with our letters in here. Buy it to spend it. <laughs> All right, this is the torch I made. It is from Pine Rosen, and I think this was hemp. <clears throat> I burped. This was actually for a collab with Mr. Beast, but he canceled. So. All right, this is an antler ads made from antler, and this was used for the boat. To be exact, this is Dobby's boat, but she said we could sell it. This has been lit on fire. Not the fire, but this is the linothorax. It would be quite the fit for the Halloween costume. All right, one of our more sought after items is this Mycenaean sword. It is slightly bent at the tip. That was from when we were testing it. Pretty cool. So this is the loom. It is disassembled, clearly, but comes with all the pieces so you can make your very own loom. About a thousand heddles on here, 250 per shaft. So that's how many warp threads are through the fabric is roughly a thousand. And then to lift the heddle shafts, I put in this lever plate frame. This string goes back on either side down and then ties into the heddle shafts. And so when you lower the lever, it raises the heddle shaft to make the shed. So you'd lift every other shaft and that would lift every other thread. And then you drop those and then lift these to lift the other threads. And that's pretty much cool. This is the obsidian sword. Yes, the obsidian sword. Our most popular video. This is a true relic. If we start the bidding at, oh, it is broken by the way, but <laughs> can be yours. You would have known about this auction and you would have been keeping your eyes peeled if you followed me on Instagram. I posted about it on my story. You might want to do that. You can see some nice uh, behind the scenes footage. That's it. So we hope that you can get something from your favorite channel to bring home, and we really, really appreciate the help. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you to Trade for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.